Halo guys, welcome back to Mufasuket with Fusion 3D Skate Cap Screw Practice Asset Size Number 3. And also don't forget to subscribe our channel here. It will be helpful for us to clean up. Okay, you can get uh, this uh, reference image from our Facebook app. And first, I will create a polygon. You can click here, Skate and Polygon. Select the inscript of Polygon here. Choose the front view and for the center point here to the right about 15 okay and then i will extrude select uh, this face extrude about 11 and enter with the orbit you can shift and middle mouse hold select uh, this face we create a circle press c and select uh, the center point with a diameter about 24 enter and then i will uh, extrude here extrude select uh, this face you can orbit the object and move uh, extrude uh, to the bottom here in here change to the 60 degree and the operation use uh, intersect here and then click ok to finish okay next uh, orbit again Select uh, this face and we create a circle again from the center point here with a diameter about 22. Enter and then we extrude. Click here, extrude. And select uh, this face, extrude about 1. Enter again and we select uh, this face. We create a circle from the center point here with a diameter about 16 enter again and we'll extrude select uh, this face and extrude about 90 okay and you can zoom out next we create a thread you can click uh, create here and select a uh, thread and face you can click here face and then select uh, the model here and uncheck the length I will uh, use a length about 55 okay and then use the size of uh, diameter about 16 and you can use uh, this type okay click ok here to finish next I will change to the view here you can click in here and click here and then we will apply a material to the object Click a model here and click the render and select the appearance. I will use uh, metal and use uh, steel. Okay, where is steel here? Steel. And then I will apply a steel rock here. You can click here, hot, drag and drop into the object here. Okay, we close here and I will set the environment. I will use a uh, grid like here okay and then I will uh, rotate uh, the object to get uh, the best view from uh, the object here okay and then in here okay next I will uh, go to the setting and set the brightness you can set the brightness here okay i will open the material again and select uh, this twice and select scale about here 19 and done click uh, close will setting up the light again here brightness to here and then we try to render in canvas you can click here render in canvas we close here and we waiting for the object until uh, finish you also can change the background here into environment here and you can see the result here you can active the ground plan to see the shadow effect here and I will close here and open the rendering canvas and you can push here 
Okay, I think it's enough today. If you have any question, you can comment below this video. And see you next time in Fusion 3D Scatter Modeling Practice Exercise Number Four.